to build your dream home. Well, lot prices in Lehigh Acres are falling. And here today to tell us more about this part of the real estate market, we have Denny Grimes from the Grimes & Company. Denny, we always appreciate you coming in. What has been happening with lots? We've talked a lot about houses and their prices coming down. What about lot prices? Are they still down? or? <clears throat> Well, the lot, lot prices basically are going to be the last segment to probably see some recovery, but you have to look at land in a couple of different aspects. First of all, let's talk about the scattered lots. So I have a slide to show basically the fall in value of the Lehigh lot. And the Lehigh Acres is the most affordable area of Lee County. And what's ironic is this whole area back in the 50s and 60s was really created on land sales. Well, the land peaked, uh, land values peaked in Lehigh around 70,000, but here you can see since 2007 that the prices have been falling from a meager 14,000 all the way down to about uh, $3,000 for an average of 2010. And even looking at the last quarter of 2010, it's down to $2,700 per lot. Now, that is about a 97% value deterioration since the peak. That is an incredible drop. Yeah, for land. In, in essence, in some areas of Southwest Florida, land is basically free, or some sellers are going to have to pay to get rid of it. But that, that's on, on, the, on the bad news side, but there's some good news side on the land. Builders are stepping into these developments that have what, what we call entitled lots, the ones that have basically the, uh, the go ahead, the go ahead, the environmental permits to build. And all these lots that were basically foreclosed on in 05 or 06 or 07, they're coming back in and buying them and basically building homes with a very low basis in land and passing that savings on to the customer. And we're seeing that happen in, in, in a large, uh, large order. Lennar, GL Homes, uh, DR Horton, the national builders that basically are g gobbling these lots up, buying future inventory. And the benefit to the, the home buyer is that they can basically get what's seemingly a, a home that's uh, almost like a foreclosure because a lot was foreclosed on, but it's brand new. And they will, I don't think there will be a better time to buy a brand new home than right now because builders are getting fantastic deals on these entitled lots mm -hmm. and they're passing the savings along to the consumer. Yeah, I had it explained to me that those big builders really got rid of all their land when the market crashed and now they need to get back in because there is some demand for them to build. Exactly. You know, they say smart money left the market uh, before the, the, the bubble burst. Now smart money is coming back in, and the smart money are those big builders. And so if you're out in the market looking for a new home, we're seeing great activity on a lot of those, uh, even the outlying communities that, we, that are a little bit further out. Builders are cutting their margins, and there's going to be nothing but upward pressure, particularly what's going on in Egypt. You watch oil prices and uh, raw materials and construction materials are going to be going up. Now is the time for someone to be looking at a new home. And I think you mentioned this with the, the lot prices is low as they are, there was uh, an increase in some building permits because you can buy those lots and build your own house. That's right. That's right. And then once those lots are gone and, and built upon, now then you're going to see some of the scattered lots, the people that own these lots in, in dry lots in Cape Coral, Lehigh, Golden Gate, and some of the other areas, you'll start to see those start to trickle up. But they're going to be dormant this year, uh, so if you, if you want to sell, it's going to be um, uh, slow going for a while. All right. Good advice, Denny. Thanks always for coming in. We'll be right back. Stay with us. You're watching Lincoln News Now this morning on 6TV.